It's high water on the Neponset here at Paul's Bridge. A thing of beauty. And look at how clear the water is here. Oh, nice. You can see some footings or something along the bank. The bank that is now in the water. I'll be heading in this general direction along something called Burma Road where I will be following another section of the Neponset River trail that's being contemplated. Ooh, and I spy a duck. Duck it is. Hmm, interesting little duck. Paul's Bridge is an ancient and <clears throat> majestic thing. It's a crossing that's existed since the late 1700s. There's a little feeder stream that's going into the Neponset. Blue Hills are off this way, and in fact, are part of, this is part of the Blue Hills system, if you're looking at maps in the state. And look, we have more old culvert works. how it's designated part of the Blue Hills Reservation. Fowl Meadow, we're already in Milton. And there's a key piece of signage calling attention to the old Burma Road trail. I was here in December just to take photos. been a priority to get the place committed to video. Ancient boardwalks are looking pretty good. 
This will be a lot more fun today because we don't have all the ice that is here in December. secondary trail that gets close to the river the way it's down here. The Burma Road basically just goes in a straight line and with luck I'll get down to where the stub of the proposed but failed Route 95 is down where it feeds into 128. bark of a looks to be a young sassafras that fell over. Maybe it's a beach. Oh, that's a maple. Yeah. Abandoned skivvies. pretty wet area. You couldn't tell as much back in December. back to the parking lot by Paul's Bridge as robins and blackbirds weigh in over here the Blue Hills Reservation of which this is part and you can see these red maples that are putting out flower right now are somewhat resistant to flooding. This is a vernal floodplain. It'll eventually dry up and everything will be fine. But this is typically a wet, vernal wetland tree. Basic red maple. Mm-hmm. 